This is Zero Sievert. Uh, this was billed to me as a top-down PvE extraction shooter, which sounds interesting. Uh, I don't know much about it beyond that, but uh, it's, it, it gives me a little bit of maybe a stalker vibe from what few videos I've seen, uh, but a top-down pixel art stalker vibe. Let's start a new game and figure it out together. Uh, yes? Oh, next. Choose a starting equipment. Um, okay, an AK-47, some water, some... Or that actually might be an AK-74. Anyway, um... Sawed-off shotgun, armor, some kind of gun there. Okay, so it looks like I get a bunch of the same stuff. This one looks like more of a sniper build. Uh, th this might this one might be my vibe oh very little yeah let's let's go with this one I don't know if this is actually th that just looks like the kind of rifle I usually fire <laughs> in these games it looks like it's probably a semi-automatic rifle I think and then this looks like some kind of armor perhaps is that a backpack I don't know let's start welcome to the bunker zero sivert one of uh, the last safe places in Zakov. In this place, you'll be able to accept new missions, trade with vendors, and manage your equipment. Before you go out on a hunt, I suggest you explore the bunker. In order to leave the bunker or go on a hunt, you need to talk to the train conductor. He is located to the south outside the bunker. Before leaving, ask him a few questions. He will explain how to extract from the maps. Go talk to the barman. He will surely have some quests to give you. Also, he will explain what happened at Zakov. There's a room in the bunker that you can use as a base the left of the bar, but you'll be able to use the workstation to craft new items, use the crates of storage, and build modules. By accessing your personal device, uh, J, you'll be able to see your position, current missions, install new modules, and other things. Press tab to access your inventory and equip the backpack. If you need information for the game mechanics, uh, cons uh, consult the tutorial by pressing escape. Good luck, Hunter. Okay, so tab. Uh, I feel like I've already... Is this already equipped, this backpack? I'm starting with a school bag, just like I often do in, um, uh, what's that game called that I play? Project Zomboid? Yes. Uh, the Barman. Okay, let's talk to the Barman. How do we interact with people? F. Hello, stranger. Are you hungry? I want to know something. What is this place? This is the Zero Sievert, an old bunker built during the Cold War. It's the only safe place in Zakov. Here you can find all you need. Equipment, supplies, and tasks. What happened at Zakov? In 2017, the plant exploded. Nobody really knows what happened, but surely the Crimson Corporation had something to do with it. They say they didn't conduct any dangerous experiments, but I don't believe them. Nobody here believes them. Okay, so this is very stalkery. Maybe you'll have better luck if you ask them. There should be a base in the industrial area, but don't get your hopes up. I doubt they'll tell you the truth. Uh, where can I find some jobs? I can give you a few ones. I don't think the Green Army wants to deal with a rookie. I can put in a good word for you, but first, let's see if you can survive out there. Besides, the doctor's always looking for someone willing to risk their life to get him samples. Try going to talk to him. See what he says. All right. How can I reach other areas? Oh, so you want to be a hunter? That's what we call people who go outside and gather resources instead of stalker. Uh, you need to talk to the conductor near the train. If you want to know more about different areas, go and talk with the guide. You can usually find him near the bunker's main door. Where can I store my items? If you continue to the left, you'll find a room with crates and a workbench. You can use that place to do whatever you want. You can even build something in there as long as you're able to do so. I suggest you take a look at the workbench. You can create items you'll need during your hunts. Okay, so I need to go talk to the doctor, whoever the doctor is. Got a bunch of armed people in here. I love the minimalist style here. So, okay, craft. Okay, so I can craft ammunition. Or can it? Let's see here. Okay, so oh, so it requires these two things, which I don't have. I can craft water, which requires two of rotten water. And yeah, everyone knows if you combine two rotten water together, you get one good water. Um, repair kits. Okay, so I don't think I've got any stuff. I can mod my weapon. Ooh, so this is my weapon. And I can do something. Okay, so I've got a magazine. I don't have these other things, and it looks like I don't have anything available. So, yeah, it looks like I'm probably not going to be able to do much right now unless... Is there something in my stash? Nope, I got nothing in my stash. Okay, so this is useless to me right now. 
But... Hey there, Mr. Xbox Series S. Who is this? Who are you? Ugh, where is it? I can't seem to find it. Hey, rookie, I don't suppose you've seen my... Never mind, you're not ready yet. Oh, okay, fine. Oh, wait, I see a little, little plus symbol in here. Is this where the doctor is? Is the doctor in here? Uh, these guys all look the same. I need morphine! Okay. So this looks like where I would... Exp oh, wait, oh, wait. Oh, right here at the desk. The problem is all these people, they look like... They look like little boxes, and it's hard to distinguish them from the background sometimes. Hey, comrade, what do you need? I want a task. Radioactive meat. You're new here, huh? Well, I'm always looking for someone to help me with my research. Don't worry, I'll pay you for every job you do. Good, I'll need some raw meat to conduct experiments. I want to see how radiation has affected the local fauna. Okay. Cool. Awesome. I've got a mission. I'm walking real slow. Oh, okay, I can hold down shift and go fast. That's cool. They're calling me fresh meat. Maybe I can turn myself in if I become radioactive. Who's this guy? Hello, comrade. How can I help you? Tell me something. Uh, tell me more about the forest. In the forest, you will find mainly bandits and wild animals. In the center, there was an inhabited village, but a few weeks ago, the bandits arrived, and a few survivors took refuge there. There's an old abandoned sawmill, also occupied by bandits. The Green Army has an outpost in the forest. They won't attack you right away, but make sure you don't provoke them. All right. Well. Cool. Let's uh, let's get out into the world and see what happens. Um, can you give me a task? Uh, can't take you past the makeshift camp because some sections of the railway have to be repaired. We're working on it, but if you want to help, it would be quicker. Bring me these items. Uh, wait, which items? It says, this is my reward. Okay, I'm going to accept this. But can I look at my journal and find out what items he meant? So materials. Uh, okay, so 40 scrap material, 20 screw nut, 20 nail, one screwdriver, one drill, one propane tank. Man, some of those things are um, very valuable in other games that I play, and I'll have a hard time giving them up. Okay, let's get out of here. I want to go to the forest. Be okay, it looks like all of these don't cost anything. In development. This game is in early access, by the way. So let's go to the forest. Uh, Mr. Xbox Series S wants to know if I watched The Last of Us yet on HBO Max. I have. I have watched The Last of Us, and I really like it so far. I think it's cool. And it's been interesting because my wife never played the video game, but she's watching the show with me and she's getting into it. And it's fun being able to sort of um, to share that experience with her, uh, given that she she's not super into video games. So it's it's the, it's the kind of video game that it actually really does lend itself to being adapted to a linear medium. Not all of them do. Um, and so it's been nice that that particular story, which I really have a lot of affection for, is coming out to a place where I can share with more people. Okay, here we are. We're just out here in the wilderness. Um, okay, tab is my inventory. I guess I should probably equip this gun and this bulletproof vest. There's a tutorial. Let me just quickly look at it. Okay, WASD to move, shift to sprint. It can it consumes stamina. Don't run all the time or you could end up like this. Okay, okay, cool. Inventory. Here's your inventory. Weapon slot, armor slot, backpack slot, headset slot, quick slots. Okay. So control left mouse button instantly moves item to the other grid. Oh, they've got a ground grid and an inventory grid. Just like, uh, this is very similar to Project Zomboid. This will be familiar to me. So drag an item to change its position. R to rotate it. I've got maximum stuff here. Oh, you can control drag items to split them. Right click them to use them or put it in a quick slot to use it uh, with the key. 
Uh, I don't want to carry too much. Use the mouse wheel to select which container to loot. Okay, okay, so let's... Now let's have a look at our inventory with that in mind. So, I'll probably want to put some stuff in quick slots. Like some bread? Nope. Is that... I can't quick slot the bread? Can I quick slot the water? No. What can't... Ah, here we go. I don't know what this is. First aid medikit. What's this? Medikit T O O O. Whoa, what's the difference between these? Duration 10 seconds, wound 15. Duration 8 seconds, health 50. So this is about wounds and this is about health? I don't know the difference between those. And this is bandages, that's about bleeding. Okay, I will try to remember this. Looks like the food is actually used from my inventory, not as a consumable. And this is bullets for my gun. Okay. Okay, cool. Let's look at more tutorial. Device. Ah! <laughs> okay, so here's my radiation. Map, quests, level of statistics, skills, modules, faction. Oh, there's so much here. Okay. Oh, right. So I can look at my map to find where quests are. Add markers at will. I can look at my quest objectives. Look at my level and my statistics. Okay, this is my skills. Got it. So this is, this does remind me a lot of Zomboid. And then modules grant passive skills and unlock items to be crafted. Okay, so modules are a thing I'll get into later, I imagine. Relations are still in development. Okay, so I could eventually, long term, make friends with factions and things, but that's not a thing I do now. Combat. Yes, let's understand combat. That's my health. Health can be restored using medikits that have the attribute health. Bleeding makes people health over time. You want to get rid of bleeding. Wounds. Okay, wounds reduce your max. Okay, gotcha. So that's why I have the three different things. If the crosshair is red, it means there's no line of sight. Enemies and containers are only displayed if there is line of sight. And here's my ammo, ammo counter. So this, again, very... I'm betting these people have played Project Zomboid. There's a lot of parallels with Project Zomboid. I mean, the crosshair above an enemy increases accuracy and decreases recoil. So, do they mean, like, like if I'm getting headshots? Is that what I'm trying to do? Right mouse button to extend my view. If your weapon is a long-range sight, you start aiming it through the scope. Okay, gotcha. So, you can make these perfect shots. T for torch. L for laser. B to switch fire mode. Y to switch ammo type. Those are not things I can do yet. Okay, and then play let's just quickly look at player needs. Fatigue, hunger, thirst, radiation. They're all color-coded. I'll need to keep an eye out for those. Okay, okay. Sorry. So, if I... If I hold the right mouse button, I aim, and I can aim further. What is this? Okay, there's some kind of thing over here. Oh! Oh! What? Oh, what? Do I not have any bullets in this gun? I was immediately killed. <laughs> okay, so apparently... Hold on. Okay. They have mercifully sent me back like nothing happened. Let's, let's try this again. Okay. I kind of expected to lose all my stuff, but apparently no. Let's, let's try this again, and this time, I guess I need to reload my gun before I try to shoot it. <laughs> Coalition is like, yeah, let's move that entire train for one guy. I mean, I'm assuming he must be going somewhere else, too, and I'm just getting dropped off along the way. Oh, Dr. Lackenstein says that he'd actually like to have trains in State of Decay. Like, have, like, a train outpost. Sort of, like, will, like, welcome traders from the outside via train. All right. All right, so. R. Reloading. Ah, now I can see on the lower left my bullets. Also, I should be up here because I think that's where the HUD wants it to be. Okay, so. Yes, yeah, so you can see the trees sort of disappearing. Now, ah, there's my friend. <laughs> Do 
No! No! <laughs> We're gonna beat this freaking boar! <laughs> I'm just getting killed by one boar! <laughs> This is going to be this entire session. It's just me getting killed by this boar again and again and again. I mean, I guess at some point I could go in a different direction, but, like, I feel like if I can't handle a boar, like, how can I handle anything in a stalker zone, you know? Coalition is calling this ro a roller drum flashbacks. Hey, now, I actually lasted a lot longer in roller drum. Uh, in each, each attempt at roller drum. I wasn't that helpless. Okay, it does look like it's a little different each time. So I don't know if these maps are being procedurally generated. Oh, bunny! Yes. And... Bu oh! Oh, come on, hold still, hold still, hold still, hold still! Okay, did I... So did I get your friend? I think I shot him, but he didn't die. Okay, I guess I had it in my head that if I shot a rabbit, there'd be something for me to obtain from that rabbit. But it looks like, no, maybe I just, oh, 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 radiation, radiation. I mean, I don't know how to interact with containers, if that's even a thing I can do. So at some point, I should probably look at a map. Oh, gosh! Oh, shoot! There are more of them. I'm bleeding. I forgot to set up my inventory. Okay, okay. Um, uh, how do I... Was it this? Use? Bandaging, 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 bandaging. Come on, man. Okay, okay, okay. I I don't know if that guy's still around or what. This Was this the wound one or was this the... This is the health one. Let's use the health pack. All right. Health coming back. Um, okay. Is there still a guy? I, mean, I feel like a guy would have come after me if he was still there. I probably shot both guys. Or maybe one of them ran away. I feel there were, there were two guys. I only see one body. All right. So we got some matches. I've got... What is this? A hammer? We got a spider, some kind of gun. And what is this? Rotten cheese. Delicious. Yummy rotten cheese. And then we can loot some kind of box. Oh, I've got a bunch of weapon attachments here. Cool. That seems like something that's worth taking home. And there's a toolbox. Ooh, a screwdriver. That's one of the things that I'm trying to get. And then a wheel of some kind. Okay, I don't know. Ooh, okay, so I, I got one of the materials I was looking for. I guess... Let's look at the map. Okay, so I am here. Looks like... Okay, it says I've got some quest markers down south. So south is where I want to head. Okay, so Lakolasun is telling me that actually there might have been a press F to loot button near where the rabbit was. Was there? I didn't think I saw one. That was the... Oh, th oh, there it is. Okay. Yeah, I missed it. Okay, cool. So you do get rabbit pelt, not meat. Okay, fine. That's whatever. Okay, so looks like I did actually get that rabbit. And that one's dead. Oh, yeah. Here's the meat. Oh, lots of meat. Rabbit meat. Yummy. 
I imagine there's probably a way to cook this stuff. So, Randolph Court and, and Coalition are making fun of the fact that I sometimes don't look at UI that's written on the screen. But I think that actually makes me good at my job because it means that I'm I'm an easy test case for UI that doesn't communicate well enough. I'm the first person who won't notice something if it doesn't communicate well enough. So are these guys friendly or no? Oh. Um... I'm genuinely nervous. Like, I don't know. <laughs> oh, looks like there's a dead body over here. You know what? I'm not going to look through that yet. Um, because there might be guys coming after me with guns. Hey, don't shoot at me. Don't, don't shoot at me. Friendly? Are you friendly? Can I talk? Talk. Okay. Hey, tell me something. Any interesting news? Try to be careful if you go to the village in the center of the forest. I heard recently the more organized group of bandits has settled there. Okay. Whew! All right! These guys didn't kill me. Awesome. I wonder if they'd kill me if I took their stuff. Uh, looks like they're... Okay, so I'm less scared now. Let's keep looting whatever this is. Oh, okay. Hey, looks like we've got some more of the bullets that I use. That's good. Some more matches... Rotten milk. Delicious. Anti-rad pills. Oh, man. If I start getting too rad, those pills will, 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 will sort of, like, bring me back down to earth, right? Um, let's just take everything, because I don't know what's worthwhile and what's not. Oh, wait. Oh, I'm carrying too much stuff. Oh, yeah, look at this. Okay, well, I guess... You know what? I've already got this gun. I don't need another one. Uh, I've got two hammers. We don't need two hammers. Uh, I don't know what the wheel is even for. And this is rotten milk. Um, something else. This is rotten cheese. I was just grabbing everything, but... Uh, yeah, I think this seems a little smarter. Let's equip this spider. So I don't know how to switch... How do I switch guns? Is it like one and two? Yes, it is one and two. Okay, so what's in here? Oh, hey, Cons Lufius, thanks for joining us. Uh, yeah, so I'm 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 not the lead designer of State of Decay Three. I'm the lead systems designer, which is different. That's a sub job. Uh, I don't want to claim to um, to be in charge of that team. I am not. They're are very capable people in charge. Okay, so it looks like there's nothing in this box. So this is a waste of time. So how how close did I get? Where am I? Where am I? Hold on. Let's get out of here again. Well, now will it show me where I am? Aha! Okay, so I need to keep going south. To get to one of these. Oh, Lock and C points out that might be a good place to stash stuff. Interesting. So if I want to go back and... You know what I didn't do? I didn't ask how to extract. I've got no freaking idea how to extract. Does the tutorial tell me how to extract? I don't think it does. Hmm... They told me I should ask somebody when I arrived, and I completely forgot to do that. Okay, we got another box here. It's got stuff in it. Some wires. Um, a hose. Screw nuts! And scrap material, I need those. Shampoo. Eh. We're filthy out here. That's how we roll. Coalition says, too much. This is my home now. I mean, sorry, he says, too late. This is your home now. Uh, Randall, of course, suggests that if I want to go back home, I should find another boar. <laughs> Which would certainly... Oh, uh, what? Ew. Ew. What are those? That would certainly get me home. I'm pretty sure not with any of my stuff, though. 
Hey, are you guys friendly? Oh. Okay, you guys are making me nervous. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna skedaddle. <laughs> See you later. I like having these weird, like, uncomfortable face-offs with these characters. Like, I can't read their body language or anything, so I'm just, like, trying to guess whether they're going to be terrible or not. Like, it's it's actually, it's really nerve-wracking. Okay, I've hit a dead end here. Ah, okay, so I need to go around this corner the other way to get to my destination. Oh, okay, so Coalition says that actually these green circles are extraction points. Randolph Court asks, oh gosh, wolves. He asks if that nervousness feels the way that it feels when I encounter another player in another type of extraction shooter. Absolutely. Yeah, no, th that, that is it's the same kind of like, uh, uh, can I trust you? Uh, sort of feeling. Okay, leave. Okay, so I'll automatically leave if I go this way. So, now that I know that, let me... I'm going to go skirt around these wolves and head back up to... This must be something, right? I'm going to skirt around the wolves. Nope, don't want to leave. I'm going to skirt around the wolves. Freaking boars! Nope, we're getting out of here. We're getting out of here. Goodbye. <laughs> Okay, okay. We made it out alive. <laughs> that was our only criteria. All right. Yeah, we're successful. We were not killed by a boar. Yay. Let's go drop off our stuff that we picked up. All right. We got a hammer now. We've got... So, can I turn in these materials? Let's... Okay, let's just... Uh drop off all the stuff that doesn't seem like something I should be... Can, can, I, can I sell things, though? I don't know. Do I want to hold on to this meat? I've got charcoal. I've got cigarettes. Like, some of this might be sellable. Right? I know the screwdriver and these materials here are good for completing, like, a mission. We've got wire and matches. Yeah, these pelts might be sellable, but I don't know to whom. So I'm going to hold on to them. Rubles. Uh, a Zippo lighter. Again, like I just don't know what these are for yet. It could easily be that these are all things I want to actually take with me into the field. I just don't know for sure. So can I stack that? Nope. Let me see if I can turn in some of this stuff, like piecemeal. Uh, oh, first off, this is... Oh, that's for wounds. So let's do... Let's arrange my bandages like this. Okay. Let's see here. Let's see here. That's okay. So I'm going to keep reading what Coalition said, because I only read that the green circles were a thing, but he... Okay, said it. Uh, countdown will start. Yeah, we saw that. Must be careful as strong opponents often lurk around these points. So that's why there were wolves around the extraction point. Um, okay, so we had one little little adventure that we survived. That's good. It's good to sort of get our feet wet. Let's talk to this guy again about his task. Okay, so yeah, I've accepted the task already. Okay, so I need to bring him the items, but I guess I need to have all the items with me at the same time. So I've got six of this, five of that, one of this, but it looks like since I can't turn it into him until I have all of it, which that seems like that's the case, I kind of wish I could piecemeal it to him, but that means I should probably leave stuff in my stash and not take it with me out to the field where... Maybe I could lose it? I'm still not dead certain how this works. So I guess, so the way this seems to work is, if I get killed in the field, I respawn before I went, rather than losing something. 
Um, okay, yeah, so I'm going to... Let's go to the forest again. And then maybe we'll try out a different place after the forest. I just want to go to a slightly more familiar area and also just see if it really is different each time or if it's the same each time and I'm just not noticing yet. We'll, we'll compare the map that we get to what we saw last time. Oh yeah, Consolufius, thanks for reminding me that I could hit, use the control button to like pop things back and forth between uh, inventories. That's helpful. Oh, look, it says it right there. <laughs> okay, let's look at the map. Okay, so you know, it's the same map, but I keep getting dropped off at a different point along the track. That's what's going on. All right, so my missions are just to gather things, including radioactive meat. Oh, wait, so I did get rabbit meat. Will that satisfy that? Oh, also, my needs are getting... Oh, hey, fitness level one, yay. My needs are updating here. Let's see, my... I'm slightly hungry, slightly thirsty, not tired yet, and I'm not really irradiated. So let's let's try to eat something. Let's eat some of this. Num, 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 num. I kind of miss Zomboid's little bar. Hey there, bun bun. Oh, where'd you go? Where'd you go? Oh, it saw me! Come back, bunny! Come back! Oh, here's your friend. Your friend hasn't seen me yet. Ha-ha! Oh, uh, just a pelt. All right, it's fine. Yeah, let me... Oh, shoot! What are you? Oh, what the heck was that? Okay, um... Wait, that's the wrong... I think I just hit the wrong button for the wrong... Th I was trying to hit the... Okay, the fact that it doesn't have my... Okay, so I've got these hotkeys, right? Okay, two. Two... Uh, sorry, four. Wait. Okay, yes. Number four. Four was what I set my bandages to. I accidentally hit number five, I think, and used this, which was useless. So, that was stupid. Okay, I've healed up. And this is a ghoul. I'm going to pick up a bunch of ghoul tentacles. Cool. I should I should definitely research whether there's something that I a place where I can sell all of this stuff that I'm grabbing. Anyway, the thing that I was going to do when I got so rudely attacked was um no, not there. Uh, not there. What, where was the... Uh... There we go. This is what I'm looking for. Okay, yeah. So it's not a special kind of meat that's called radioactive meat. I'm just like any meat. I'm just here for any meat. So I can keep shooting bunnies and eventually satisfy the doctor. Okay, I'm thirsty. Let's uh, Let's do something about that. Starting to run low on my survival supplies. Oh, oh, what is that? Wait, hold on. Is that at me or is that just happening ambiently? Yes! Meat, meat, meat. All right. Okay, so these guys, I think they were probably shooting at monsters. I don't think they're shooting at me. Now, if I shot at them, that would probably, dude, dude, I'm not, I'm not threatening you. Um, do I want to go into this cave? <laughs> probably not. Uh, okay, looks like we've got a settlement over here. Oh, and a bunch of weird anomalies. That I'll just stay the heck away from. So is this an abandoned settlement or is this like a current settlement? Got a bunch of open boxes. But we got like a workbench, maybe. Ah, there's stuff to loot. Got a knife. 
and some nails. Oh, oh, nails. That's on my list. That's on my list of stuff we want. Um, okay, then we... Oh, we use the mouse wheel to switch between different things to loot. And, okay, good. Bandages. And what is this? Scrap material and scrap material. Okay, this is great. This is great. Let's merge my bandages. I think that's everything that I can get in here. Okay, so I guess this is an abandoned settlement. Oh, wait. So And, and the little white glows tell me this is a door I can enter. That's what was, what was in front of the cave, too. Okay, yes. We've got more nails. We've got tape measure. We've got rotten water, which I can combine with proper water to make yummy water. Okay, well, a subtask for materials was completed. So what I don't want to do is now get killed and lose the stuff that I've gathered. So after I've raided this place, I need to go and find myself an extraction point. This is Tushanka, which is some kind of food, one would presume. Surprised there's not much more not more resistance around here. I guess there was that little cave full of ghouls nearby. Oh, there's a d dead ghoul body right there. Maybe that's some foreshadowing. Uh, I gotta click something elsewhere on my screen. Okay, here we go. Let's try. Wait, why can I? I cl what? I'm stuck. That was weird. Oh, you know what? I think I, I clicked away just for a sec to like, I wanted to adjust something on my screen. I clicked away from the game and I think that resulted in um, me having to basically, oh, duct tape, yay. Dumbbell? No, I'm not carrying a dumbbell around. Um, that resulted in me having to click on the screen before I could move. I'm running low on what I can fit. Some coffee. I've already got a screwdriver. I'll always take duct tape. Even though I don't really know what duct tape is for in this game. Um, it's so rare and valuable in Zomboid. I just feel like I need to grab it. Yeah, that's point f like half a kilo for just some coffee. I don't think I need that right now. My energy is good. Uh, I don't see any lootables. Is this an interactive thing of any kind? It looks like not. Okay, so where do I extract? Oh, it looks like... Okay, there's an, okay, there's an extraction over here near the tracks that might be safer than deeper in the woods. No guarantees, though. But I think I've, I'm carrying about as much as I reasonably can. So I think I'm going to need to come back here later. Oh, shoot. It's radioactive. All right. So Dr. Lacazine says that dumbbells are so rare but valuable in Project Zomboid. Wait. So, okay, so I have found what was called a, I think, a fitness contraption in Zomboid. And it looked like it was a weight bunch with no weights. Like, can you actually put that together into, like, a whole, like, weight set to, like, train your character and stuff? Okay, I'm deciding whether I want to come in here. You know what? I'm carrying too much stuff. Let's get out. Let's try to get out first. And then I'll come back here later on. Oh! A boar pelt? What? Did that bird just sort of land on a... On a boar? Oh, weird. I think... Oh, uh, let's see here. What do I leave behind? I don't know what papers are for. I've got a lot of lighters. I don't even know what to do with pelts. I want to keep all this meat. That's the main thing. I don't know what syringes are for either, or tape measures. I just want to get down. I feel like I'm carrying less. Actually, let me try eating something. Let me try eating some bread. I wonder if I can carry more when I'm in better physical condition, like in Project Zomboid. 
Uh, and then I'm also going to drink some water. Because I think I feel like I remember. Yes. Okay. Now I can carry fourteen point five. Yeah. Okay. So let's come back here. Let's grab some more stuff real quick. And then let's get out of here before we have a problem. Okay, we can carry everything, but we need to get out. Uh, just a pelt, whatever. Okay, so we're carrying a lot. I don't have any. I don't have any replacement water. So let's hope we make it to our destination, which is down here, before I have to start dropping stuff, because my thirst goes crazy. Okay, so Melator says that the fitness contraption in Zomboid is actually just a decoration as far as they can tell. Though Lockenstein says that actually the um, there's a mod that makes the treadmills usable, which is fun. Uh, but yeah, apparently, uh, so basically, if I wanted to create an exercise room, I could use the, the, the fitness, whatever, fitness contraption as decoration, but then actually use functional barbells. Because he says that barbells and dumbbells are actually functional. Okay, so I'm just going to cling to the wall here. Hope whatever monster is defending this place just doesn't see me. Okay, we made it out with some stuff! And we got a little bit of experience. We haven't completed a mission yet. Or have... No, we have... Oh, wait, I can, I can check my task by hitting J. Okay, so materials. I still need to drill in a propane tank and more screws and scrap material. This, oh, I've almost got 12 raw meat, but not quite. Let's go drop off our stuff. And let's figure out, I need to start replenishing my supplies because I, I just used a lot of my food and drink supplies. Let's drop this stuff. The stuff that I definitely know I want to retain for use in this quests, I'll drop. Because um, I know what they're for. This other stuff that I don't know what it's for. 762, 39 mil. Okay, yeah. Um, stuff that I don't know what it's for, I'm going to hold on to and see if I can sell it. Like, does the, does the barman, for instance, does he buy stuff and sell stuff? Uh, trade. Okay, here we go. So Okay, so he does sell food and drink. And does he buy things? Like, can I sell him a boar fang? These are called tusks. Um, oh, deal 420. Nice. Uh, I don't know what I might want some of this stuff for. So the trophies from animals, I'm going to sell because I'm imagining that's probably what they're for. Animal trophies or monster trophies are probably just to be sold. This other stuff, I feel like I want to hold on to just in case it's useful for something. But let's say I want to buy some water from him and vodka. So it's minus 17 thirst. Is that Okay, so, so this actually makes you thirstier, but it helps you with radiation. Milk helps you with thirst and fatigue. He's got cigarettes, which help with radiation, apparently. Um, I'm going to grab some bread. I've already got some Tushanka. Tushanka's better with... Oh, Tushanka's just better food. But it's also significantly more expensive than bread. Cooked meat... Oh, wait, I can buy raw meat? I'm only short two raw meat. Let's buy the raw meat from this guy. Um, it's hunger. Oh, it looks like it has the best hunger solution, the, the cooked meat. If I can learn how to cook meat in the field, that could be better than buying from this guy. I'm worried about my thirst, so I'm, I'm also... Oh, wait, no, oh, the deal is minus eight. Okay, hold on. Let's just... Let's sell a lighter. There we go. Okay, let's deal! Yes! It's a deal. Okay, so now I've got my radioactive meat thing completed. Okay, so I don't have it in my inventory, but it's in my stash. Can I complete the mission 
with it in my stash. Let's see. Task. It's completed. Yes. Okay, cool. Choose an item as a reward. Let's... I mean, I do want water. It would be really funny if he just gives me back two raw meat. Um, let's, let's grab the water. Okay, so now he's got more tasks for me. Strange crystal. Uh, what have you explored? Strange crystals found near anomalies. Okay, so we're going to go find some strange crystals and then pelts. Of course, right after I sell a bunch of pelts, this guy wants pelts. Rabbit furs, specifically. Yeah, I can get more rabbit furs. That's, that's not a big deal. So when I was talking about... Uh, I think maybe it was when I was talking about getting vodka. Uh, Stone says, if you poison yourself, radiation can't poison you. Just do it preemptively. Take control over your life. Yeah, totally. Um, okay, so let's... Okay, I think I can craft some of this rotten water into fancy water. I, I'm i going to keep one of these lighters, just in case I learn how to make a fire. Um, I don't know what the knife is for or this stuff, so I'm going to drop this stuff off. I don't know if I need to necessarily carry all of my food. Let's actually drop the Tushanka. And then the papers and this lighter. And then let's go and see if I can craft myself some more water. Oh, if you're stuck, hold control and press WASD to move in that direction. Interesting. Okay. Um, food. So I can craft... Yes, okay, so I can craft bottled water from this. And again, it draws from my stash. I really appreciate the fact that it draws from my stash. That's really cool. Medication. So I can make a sterilized bandage out of water and bandages. I can make a bandage out of scrap medicine. Okay, so I can be looking for scrap medicine. What else? Uh, I just want to figure out... Okay, so if I have scrap material and scrap ammo then I can use that to make uh, more of the bullets that I use. And mod I'm, I'm not worrying about modules yet. I can mod my weapons. Okay, so let's see. Let's see. Have I picked up... Okay. Oh, yes. A scope. All right. So let's attach a scope to my rifle. And then my submachine gun. I don't have anything that I can install in that submachine gun. But I now have a scope on my rifle. That's pretty cool. Can I, like, sleep or anything <laughs> while I'm here? Who knows? Um, all right, I think. How long have I been streaming? Almost an hour. Okay, so let's do... We have... Comp oh, it's... Wait, it's nighttime? What do I do about nighttime? I don't want to go out in the night. Do I... Can I, like, craft myself a bed or anything? Like, what What can I... What do I do about night? Extra, what is this? A light... Use it to build lights? Storage? Okay, hold on. Aha! Building it bedroom one. So if I collect... Okay, I've got duct tape. If I collect metal pipes... I've got a hammer. Metal pipes, nails, all this basic stuff. Plus pillows. And bulbs. If I do that, then I can build myself beds. Okay, so I think I might be stuck going out at night for now. But eventually, maybe I can build myself a bed? Oh, okay, wait. So Coalition is actually saying that actually if I keep looking around, there actually are rooms with beds in them. This looks like a room with... Are those lockers? Oh, I see some beds. I see some beds. Okay, cool. So I don't necessarily need to make my own bed. Oh, what? 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 Dude, I just want to... I can't... I can't go to that bedroom? Hey, man. Can I, can I sleep in your room? <laughs> um, I'm going to sleep for eight hours. Okay, so I am hungrier and thirstier now. Okay, so yeah, so this, like, the simulation here 
continues. Oh, good, I can move while I'm eating. I wasn't sure I can move uh, that I could move while I was eating. Um, yeah, it continues in the base. So I guess actually, I'm just to eat a little bit more and drink a little bit more to get myself up into the green zone. Man, it takes a lot to keep me alive. So, Coalition says, me in games? Let's sleep eight hours to keep my character at full strength. Then he's like, me in real life? Three hours are enough. Yeah, oh, I'm the same way. I have to, like, I feel like I'm losing... I'm, I'm, I mean, I literally am losing hours of my life anytime I sleep. So I'm, like, desperately, almost afraid of sleep. Because it's just... I, I just feel the time slipping away, and I want to use it for other things. I am realizing I have been streaming this long enough... I should probably take a break, but I want to keep playing this. Um, but I also, I really want to try another game right now, too. So, how about, how about we wrap this up right now? But we're going to come back to Zero Sievert later. Maybe we'll come back tomorrow um, and play a little bit more of this game. So, let's, uh, how, I assume that if I just go to, to the main menu, it will save automatically? I don't see another save option. Let's make sure I can load. Okay, good. Yes. Okay, my game is saved there. Let's just, just double check this. Yes, I'm right where I left. Okay, cool. Sweet. So let's leave. Let's get out of here. That was really cool. I'm actually still really captivated by this because it's got, like I said, it's, 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 it is an extraction shooter, but it's a pretty forgiving one where apparently if you die, you just go back to the, to before you left on the mission. It's not like, Basically, it's not trying to put you into a death spiral where if you die, you lose everything that you had and now you have to go out with almost nothing in order to sort of gain back what you lost. And so it's got a lot of the thrill, like a lot of these sort of press your luck mechanics of, you know, okay, can I stay out a little bit longer and get a few more things or should I head back now? Like that whole feeling you get from extraction shooters has got that, but with less of a penalty. And it's just, and a lot of that sort of like Project Zomboid sort of craftiness uh and, and and exploration uh so i'm i'm liking this so far so i'm i want to try out some more of it but uh oh hey so la coalition said that he actually found out how to cook and he posted a little bit earlier in the did you say you posted something a little bit earlier in the chat let's see here oh okay it says to cook you need to co you need to craft food by combining the food with charcoal to cook it. Okay, so that charcoal that I found is used for cooking things that are raw. Okay, that's good to know. I'll have to memorize that or remember that for our next session. But let's switch to that now. So if you're watching this later on YouTube, that's a subscribe button. Um, I will put another episode of Zero Sievert there whenever I record it. But for right now, we're going to go on and do something else. <laughs>